I've said it many times, I know I would change my ways, I know for sure When all the crows decide to meet They settle down beneath my feet I've got it right and I got it wrong Hi, I'm Jackie and welcome to my channel Hearth and Apron where you can find all kinds of things creative homemaking. I'm so excited to have you here today because we are just going to be shaking it up and I have a question for you. Do you have any old candles around your house that maybe you really love the scent but it's been kind of burned down too low so they don't want to light anymore or maybe it's just difficult to get them lit or the wax has gone inside or maybe you have a candle that started to tunnel and it's just gone out of control and it's beyond fixing um, or perhaps you were in a situation where you went and you just got your brand new candle for the season. You just got out of Bath and Body Works or wherever it's your drive. You're walking to the car all happy with your little bag and suddenly the bottom bursts open and your brand new candle falls to the ground in a plummeting sorrow before you ever even got to enjoy it. I have all those candles and I am going to bring them back to life today and I'm going to take you along with me. I'm so excited because I know that not only are, is this just going to be a lot of fun for me, but also this is going to save me a lot of cash, right? Candles are expensive. So make sure you stay tuned. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, I would have really appreciated if you do so. And don't forget to hit the bell because it lets you know when new videos come your way. But come along, let me show you how to fix your old candles. Don't throw them away. Save yourself some money and save those candles for a brand new day. All right, let's get this first batch started. Now these beginning candles that we're gonna work with are all ones that have been burnt down to the point that their wicks are basically no longer functioning, making them basically useless. So we're just gonna start out by putting them into a pot on the stove with about an inch to an inch and a half of cold water. Now it's important that you put these candles in there while the water is cold so that you do not crack the glass. If the water's already hot, it will crack, guys, I promise. So we're gonna go ahead and leave these in here, getting up to a low simmer until the wax is completely melted. But while those are getting ready, we're going to prep the jars. We're gonna put these in. Now, most of these are jars I already had on hand, but I did pick up two four packs from Dollar Tree to just kind of give myself a little bit more candles that we could be making. Now, the actual wicks that I'm working with came with a little candle making kit that I had bought for a previous episode, as well as these little sticky pieces for the bottom to help keep the wicks where they're supposed to be. Now, you can see I poured in my first candle there. This was a vanilla amber, I believe, and it smelled so amazing, I was glad I got to give it just a little bit of extra life, even though there wasn't a ton. But you'll see the stick that I put there, and what its purpose is, is to make sure that my wick stays in the middle of the candle and melts as it is supposed to. Because if your wick is sideways or crooked in any way, your candle will not burn right, and you'll find yourself needing to remake it all over again. on the floor they're walking out the door yeah all the lights come on but you are still now because i needed to let the water cool in between each of these candles i just kind of took videos of where i was actually doing work here so you're going to see when i add in the new wax and i'm just kind of behind the scenes changing out all of these candles but you will notice that when i pull out the bath and body works candles that have that little wrapper on the outside you want to make sure to take that off before you put that in the water because that could cause big problems big messes we do not need Okay, so I wanted to point out this shot really quick because you will notice that the candles have been entirely melted. There's not any part that is not translucent, and that's when you know it is time to grab your towel or whatever it is that you're using to hold your candles and get them poured as soon as possible because you don't want to leave them on the heat for a long time or you're going to start to get rid of all those amazing fragrances you're trying to save. Party is over.
And it is time to rescue a different type of candle. Now you will notice that this candle has completely tunneled down through the center. And what that means is it has just kind of kept all of its little barrier walls, but created a total tunnel through the candle, leaving me with tons of unused wax. So I am just going to pop off the bottom and put it into my little candle pot here and melt that down. And we are going to bring this back to life. Now you will notice that I poured a little bit of the extra wax into a candle already because I noticed that this was getting so bad and so tunneled and I wanted to start this project. I actually had been melting, like taking the melted wax that was in there already and pouring it in the bottom with a wick. And you'll notice I kind of shook it around and that helps to make sure that when you're putting in a small amount, you're getting an even coat of it. Um, yes, I did spill a little bit of wax on the side of this candle, but you guys, I absolutely love that candle and all of these. I'm so excited that I was able to make them again. Now, here's the time where we are going to talk about my poor, terribly broken candle from Bath and Body Works. My story in the beginning about it falling in the parking lot was not a joke. It fell right after I bought it. As you can see, like it had not even been lit. And so I immediately threw it into a grocery bag and put it into my freezer because they said that that actually helps the wax to release from the glass a little bit easier. So I didn't cut myself. And because it was already kind of broken up into chunks that made it so much easier, otherwise you would have wanted to cut it. And we are just going to let that melt up prepare our jars for this. I was actually able to get a full size votive as well as all these little tea, like six of these little tea lights out of this one Bath and Body Works candle. I'm so glad that I was able to remake it. And you know, I'm curious, have you guys ever tried anything like this at home? I would love to hear how these experiences worked out for you. Don't forget to let me know down in the comments. PSA, um, the Bath and Body Works candle was a little overwhelming as it melted down. The rest of them, actually, it made the house smell wonderful and amazing, but I think because I had the full candle for Bath and Body Works melted all the way down, you guys, I had to open up the windows. So make sure that if you're doing this today, that you are properly ventilated. You guys, I got so many candles out of what was basically considered trash. And the best part, because I already had a lot of these supplies from some of my other adventures, I spent less than $5, including the jars, to bring these all back to life. I hope that this brought you some inspiration to maybe bring some of your old candles back to life. I would love to hear what you think down below. And most importantly, though, I hope you have the most amazing week. And I can't wait to see you next time, my friends. <laughs>